Gina is used to championing others, her kids during their sporting events, her patients as a nurse, and eventually her entire team as the hospital president and CEO of Woodland Memorial Hospital. But the last 18 months, she's faced her own health battle against stage three cancer. She tells us that determination, her family and community kept her strong through the fight. In sickness and health, um, you say those words to each other, but you're, the day you say them, you're, you're young and you're healthy and you're surrounded by love and, and life and you think of this um, long life ahead of you. When Gina and Scott Bravo exchanged wedding vows in 2015, they had no idea that Gina would be diagnosed with stage three breast cancer years later, two days after their anniversary. We came home like nothing was wrong, right? You have to, you have to be strong for the kids, right? Her point was taking longer and longer and longer. And uh, I finally told our, our, our 22 year old, hey, I gotta go, I'll be back. And you know, I drove into the, to the hospital and I, I, I saw her in the car just in tears. And at that moment, my heart sank because I, I didn't know what was next. Just as their kids brought them together years ago, meeting through Little League, their six children also kept them strong together. I don't think there was one of our children at any point that thought this was going to end in a bad way. Just just knowing mom, you know, um, they, they really helped me. <laughs> brought me up through this process. With her family and community behind her, Gina was ready to be a warrior for her health. First moment, um, there was fear about what I would miss. It was all about, you know, not seeing my kids grow up, um, not seeing grandkids. And then um, that fear um, suddenly just turned to, uh, the fear um, suddenly just turned to bravery and then, um, and then fight and I just thought this is not going to beat me because Gina was used to championing others as a nurse and as the hospital president and CEO of Woodland Memorial Hospital. I'm a nurse. I know better and I missed two mammograms and so it's a perfect example how easily we can let those years slip by without putting ourselves first and so we all really need to put ourselves first and get those screenings. Come on. Earlier this month, after her last round of chemotherapy, Gina rang a bell at the Sacramento Republic FC this month, signaling that she is 100% cancer free. That same week, her hospital was lit up in pink for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Serendipitous. I mean, it really was. It just, um, it gave me the chills and it was just overwhelming to see that um, hospital where I get my own treatment and the whole parking lot pink. It was, a, it was a celebration for me of my life. And Gina shares her story so that she can uplift others going through a similar journey and raise awareness. In studio, Kristen Vartan, Fox 40 News.